Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a day in the life. And boy, do I have a day ahead of me. Uh, we just got back from our beach vacation last night, yesterday. So if you're a mom, you know my list today is like 20 things long. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for today's, um, today's productive, hopefully, day. And I wanna thank Owl Crate Jr. for sponsoring today's video. I came home to a mountaintop of mail um, and in there was our Owl Crate Jr. box and I'm super excited to see what's inside for this month's theme. So I'll be showing you guys that in this video as well. And if you've never checked out Owl Crate Jr., the links will all be down below. Right now, just making breakfast. We are super low on groceries, so the kids are just having instant oatmeal, um, making do. I have a grocery order to pick up. I've got so many things to do. So um, no more intro. We're just gonna get going. I hope you guys enjoy today's day in the life. Give me a thumbs up if you do. It is our last week on summer vacation. As well, next week starts our new homeschool year. I can't believe it already. So anyways, that's what today is gonna be, running errands with me and um, just catching up. So I hope you guys enjoy. Here is the emptiness of the fridge from us just coming back from the beach. Some of the stuff, like the hummus and the bread, we brought back with us. Um, but yeah, we're pretty empty. So I have a Walmart order to pick up. I have zero produce except a few things of carrots. So I will show you guys my grocery haul. I did just do a Walmart pickup order just to save time. So this will be just one week for um, our family. And then I made this in the car on the way home. So if you need meal ideas, here you go. We are having turkey burgers and fries, spaghetti, like turkey spaghetti, and zucchini, salsa chicken bowls, taco soup, Greek chicken skewers, and Greek salad and barbecue chicken sandwiches and Greek salad as well. And then I wrote down oatmeal bake because that's something I've been wanting to make for um, breakfast. So, like I said, I'm just ma making instant oatmeal for everyone. Um, and my cup of coffee, of course. We have no creamer, so thankfully I had these little coffee meat guys from when we went uh, camping so that I could have drank it black, but I just prefer not to. So anyways, these guys who are slowly starting to come down have something very fun today. What are you doing today? Um, VBS. VBS. Are you excited? Nervous and excited? <laughs> you won't be nervous when you go. So, um... I know a lot of you guys probably have kiddos who missed out on going to an in-person VBS. Well, this isn't our home church, but it's another church that we've attended um, here and there and a few times. And the kids actually went to their VBS a few years ago because I had a friend who served on children's ministry there and they really loved it. Well, they decided this year that they were going to offer an in-person VBS with just like reduced capacity and some different things. And so I asked the kids, I said, would you guys wanna go? And so they are going to VBS this week and I'm really excited for them because they always have a ton of fun once they're there. I'm sure things this year will look a little bit different, but at least the church is offering it and they're getting to go and that makes my mom heart very happy so like i said we just got back from being out of town and i had a bunch of packages brought in by um our house sitter and one of them was our owl crate junior box so if you're not familiar with owl crate junior they are a monthly subscription um, service and every month the box has a special theme with a book inside as well as other fun things for your kids um, to use and so we are going to see what this month's theme is here uh, let's see so it says lost in a book that is the July 2020 theme and it kind of goes through some different creative ideas and things like that and then there's always um, different books that you can read following this one so let's see what else is in here so we have this Owl Crate Junior um, box I think this is 
There's a quote from Ronald Dahl on the back, and we love um, Ronald Dahl here. So let's open this up and see it. Landon, do you want to open it? Sure. So while Landon's working on that, I am going to go to, on to the next thing. So this little thing says, when in doubt, go to the library. And let's see what is in here. This is hard to open with one hand, but it looks like a fake um, like secret book or something. So that's really cute, something to put inside. Oh, it's a cup. Will you take it out of the plastic wrap? They always include uh, bookmarks, which I love, and they always have um, really awesome quotes. So the quote on this one is actually Belle from Disney, and it says, Far off places, daring sword fights, magic spells, a prince in disguise. So that's a cute little bookmark. And then here's the cup. So this says, these books give Matilda a hopeful and comforting message. You are not alone. And that is from Ronald Dahl's book of Matilda. So we also got some color pencils, it looks like. And we got a cute pin that says lost in a book. That's really cute, actually. Um, there's a fun little sticker inside. There's the activity book. So every month they come with an activity book, which gives you some ideas, different coloring, just different things to do. And then last but not least, and most importantly, is the actual book itself. And this month is The Time of Green Magic by Hilary McKay. And they're usually hardcover books, and they usually um, have the author sign them. Yeah, so see right here. So that's a fun little thing to do. And then it also will give you a preview of what the next month is. So the next month is Enchanted Objects. So that is everything that was in our July Owl Crate box. We love getting these. They're a fun... Um, just thing to have arrive every month with some different stuff for the kiddos to do and I love adding books that I probably wouldn't normally find into our collection um, as always you guys use your own judgment don't just ever order anything just because I say I like it um, every family has different standards for what they're comfortable with um, I know a lot of people have strong feelings about you know anything magical or things like that um, so if that makes you uncomfortable of course pass on by but um, we are okay with that here we know the difference between real and fake and so um, we enjoy just having some fun reads so that is everything from Owl Crate. If you guys want to check them out, I will have the link down in my description box and you guys can um, maybe get a July 2020 box or be ready to get the August one because they do usually sell out. But I'm super excited to have um, this book added into our homeschool library. Now that she's so tall when she wants me to braid her hair, she has to sit mm -hmm. so I can actually reach the top of this girl's head. Would you like to tell everyone how your vacation was and how surfing was and most importantly tell them how amazing of a surfer your mom was Here. hold the camera don't drop it my hair is messy it's okay so tell them how surfing was very fun um I got crushed a couple times but once I got the hang of it I stood up more than I fell and I caught some big ones so, do you have any tips for anyone wanting to surf? Never give up. <laughs> Don't give up, and what else? Like, um, what are some practical things? You need to have a lot of balance and coordination, and you have to be athletic to get over all those huge waves right. to get good ones. And so not everyone can do it. Did you sustain any injuries? Oh, yes. Many scabs from the board rubbing against skin. Don't show them. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, a word of advice is to wear like board shorts or a some, wetsuit. Oh, yeah, we Maybe. didn't have wetsuits. I don't want to wear a wetsuit though. A wetsuit to kind of protect your skin, so that would be helpful. Yeah. Um. Now, would you like to tell them how I did? Um. You did pretty good. Actually. Pretty good. Yeah. I've never surfed before in my life. I know. Neither have I. Yeah, but you're a kid. 
Um, were you impressed with me? Or you thought I could do it? It didn't like surprise um, you? I knew you could stand up on it. How'd you know that? I didn't even know that. I don't know, you're athletic. Aw, she has so. faith in me. Well, I was shocked because I've never tried surfing before and I was impressed, but I was also made aware of how hard it actually is to surf. Yeah, now I have a new understanding for Bethany. Yeah, Bethany is pretty incredible. So all in all, it was really fun, right? Yeah, way more fun than boogie boarding in my opinion. But way much more tiring. Yeah, but it's fun. It was really tiring. Like, you don't, it's surfing, it doesn't, when people are doing it, it doesn't look like it's an actual, like, work, they make it workout. Look, they make it look easy. But it's really tiring. My arms were so sore. Yeah. Because you have to paddle out. So. Good. That's a little surfing update from Kylie. Ready for VBS? Oh, yeah. yeah. What's the theme? Armor of God. So I dropped the kids off at VBS, ran to the bank, did a Target pickup, and now I am leaving Walmart. We just got the grocery order in the back, um, and it was a pretty big Walmart order, I think around like 300 something dollars. So um, I'm gonna go home and get it unloaded and fill up that empty fridge that you guys saw. Uh, it is about 10 o'clock now. The kids, the younger three, have to be picked up from VBS at 12:30, so I'm gonna try to get the groceries done and show you guys in this video the little weekly haul that I got um, for groceries that will make the dinners that I showed at the beginning of the video. And I have my errand companion here. Oh, hello. <laughs> and we took a quick trip through the Starbucks drive-through, and um, my cold foam disaster happened. They didn't put the foam on top. So then they gave me a cup with the foam because they couldn't take the Starbucks back. Um, and then I spilled it everywhere. So getting a car wash is also on my post road trip to-do list. But first things first, we're going to head home and I'll show you guys what I got at Walmart. So we've got a pretty big haul. Like I said, I did Walmart pick up for this and they did give me a few substitutions that I'm not crazy about and I actually told them to take it off, this mainly, and they left it in. So I guess that's what you get when you use pickup. Uh, I didn't have time to organize it, so I'm just gonna go through. I got two large things of blueberries, um, a bag of green seedless grapes, Faye Total Plain Greek Yogurt, then the Great Value Light Greek, um, vanilla Greek yogurt. I got a pound, like one, one and a quarter pound of Prima Della uh, roasted turkey. Same thing for the pepperoni for sandwiches. I got three cucumbers for the Greek salads. Kylie, no ma'am, put that away. I got two things of whipped cream cheese. I got a red onion. I got some little cherry tomatoes, avocados, two things of strawberries, and I got some bad ones in the bunch. So that's unfortunate. Um, I got a large thing of feta cheese. I got quite a few boxes of this sugar-free cheesecake jello for making kind of like this macro friendly dessert that I'm going to make but I think I ordered five for five of these and then they substituted one of them for the butterscotch jello it's like I don't want that but they put it in there um I ordered Truvia baking blend and they gave me Splenda uh this will literally get donated because I'm never going to use that uh, this right here is PB Fit powdered peanut butter for that dessert as well. I got a thing of LaCroix. This flavor I really like, 60 eggs. Moving over here, I got a large bag of honeycomb. Uh, I was out of all of my favorite dressings. I like to do these on salads and wraps and burrito bowls like you guys saw, cilantro avocado, these are all the Bolt House Farms dressings. Um, the Honey Barbecue Ranch is really good with like chicken and like a chicken wrap. And then I got Classic Ranch for veggies. 
I got six of the Key Lime Chobani Flip Yogurts, milk, a bunch of canned items for like the taco soup. So I got black beans, I got corn, I got like Rotel, the great value version of Rotel. I got a few cans of corn just to have some extras on hand. I got artichoke hearts, two of those, two more black beans, some sliced olives for the Greek night, um, and then I needed pure vanilla extract, and then I got some Greek dressing, two of them back there. Um, I got two packages of chicken tenderloins, two packages of uncured turkey bacon, three three pound ground turkeys. I got two of the light and fit raspberry or strawberry cheesecake uh, Greek yogurts. I got some pickles for the turkey burgers, provolone for the turkey burgers. I got three of the Oikos banana flavor and then this Greek vanilla in the large container. Lots of yogurt. Uh, you guys saw my fridge was extremely empty. Now all the breads. I got whole wheat buns for hamburgers, two packages of cinnamon raisin bagels for breakfast, two loaves of just plain wheat bread. These are the bagels I like. I do for sandwiches too. They're the bagel thins. I got sweet Hawaiian buns um, just to have on hand for something extra. And then I got these rolls uh, for the barbecue chicken sandwiches that you guys saw on the meal plan. Uh, all vegetable produce over here. I got the organic mini peppers on accident. It's a very small bag. I got two things of green leaf lettuce. I got one bag of spinach. I got two bags of the sweet kale salad. I usually get the huge bags of these. I'm not sure if it was my error or theirs, but two bags of broccoli, it's a super small amount. Um, I got a thing of sugar snap peas. I got six zucchini, romaine hearts, celery, and red bell peppers, four of them. Moving over here, I got six um, Gala and uh, Granny Smith apples, eight bananas. I got another pair of these sandals. I really like them. Um, I got some frozen chicken to just put in the freezer. I got this guy who's working on fixing one of the boards that fell off. I got waffle cut fries for the turkey burgers um, for the kids. Two things of shaving cream for my husband. I got a thing of basmati rice for the Greek night. I got three green bell peppers, four Roma tomatoes, a couple nectarines, and one slicing tomato for the turkey burgers, and half and half. So it's spread out everywhere, and now I need to put it away, but this will last us about a week, and like you guys saw, everything in here was all emptied out, so now it's time to restock. All the strawberries cut it's a good thing that these don't last long in our house because a lot of those are like really ripe blueberries washed grapes draining and now the fridge is filled to the brim <laughs> and in here so I don't have like um, containers or anything that I like organize my fridge with but in general the eggs go up here like turkey bacon and bread go here because sometimes things get frozen right there. This is where like the yogurt, egg whites, hummus goes. 
in the doors I always have like protein shakes and of course like condiments and salad dressings on this side is where I keep any like defrosted meat or bread that I don't want to get moldy and then down here is like the milk half and half and then like sauces salsas things that I don't have room for in the doors and then cheese lunch meat tortillas butter those kind of things in there so nothing like Pinterest worthy but it's organized and full most importantly so it is 11.23 now and I'm just having a protein shake. These ones are really good um, from Costco and I think Sam's Club has them, but they're really good. They're not too thick and they have really clean ingredients because it is um, like a healthier protein. It doesn't have like any artificial sweeteners. So I like these a lot if you're looking for one. Um, but I came over here to check off on my planner, everything that I've done. I picked up my Walmart order. The dog sitter came by to get her money. Um, we have a gym appointment at our community gym because that's the way we have to do things. The painter came to do the repair and VBS and I started filming so I can check that off. I have a bill to pay and I'm gonna take care of that right now. So as far as what's going on the rest of the day, um, the gym appointment is gonna be an hour long. It's leg day and then we have extracurriculars tonight and then I'll be editing this video tonight to get it up for you guys as soon as possible. So combined with like mopping the floors and just getting the house back in order after being out of town for a week is always a full-time job so I'm gonna go ahead and pay that bill I'm gonna leave about 12 to pick the kids up from VBS and I can't wait to hear how their day was um, they started playing like the music the theme music as I was leaving and it was like loud and energizing and just made me happy to see so many kids having so much fun um, at church because it's just been a long time for kids especially, uh, I feel like so much of what they normally do has been altered and so anytime we get to do anything normal, I really just celebrate it. So I'm excited to hear from them. So also gonna try to make their lunch ahead of time so that way it's ready right when they get home because I know they're gonna be really hungry. made the kids some grilled cheese and grapes and leftover popcorn that we had from Landon's birthday and then over here um, is mine and Jake's lunch so those are those bagel thins turkey pepper jack mustard lettuce pepperoncinis super good so Gonna eat lunch before I go and pick up the kids from VBS now so that way it's nice and digested for leg day which I'm going to plan out what we're gonna be doing um, when I sit down and have my lunch. Um, but it'll probably be similar to some of the workouts that I have on my website which is always linked down below. A lot of you guys have been messaging me saying like when you weight lift what do you do? Um, so I have created all a bunch of plans on my website that you guys can purchase when you go there. If you're looking for something to follow um, as like the homeschool year starts and you're prioritizing getting into a routine and you just don't know where to start. I've got some awesome stuff on there, so I'm probably gonna pull some leg things from that um, while I sit down and have my lunch. Back from VBS. Woo! And they made the belt of? Righteousness. Truth. 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 <laughs> Did you have fun? What was, your, what was the best part of your time, Libby? The craft. Um, the craft. Probably, because there is this weird show. Oh, you watched a weird show. Was it funny? It was. It was about the um, armor of God, yeah, and it was, was kind of silly. Yeah. So you watched that when you had your snack. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. What about you, Landon? What was your favorite oh, part? The craft. The craft. And what about you, dude? I like the craft too. The craft. And Caleb actually knows his leader, so that was a fun surprise. I know. Good. So you guys want to go back tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. So 
we just got home from the gym. We did leg day and now I am going to pot my new tree. These fiddle leaf trees were on sale at Costco for $30 and if you guys know anything about these, one, they're expensive, two, they're hard to keep alive. But my sister-in-law talked me into it and um, and we there was a friend of hers that was like picking them up. So she bought four at one time. So they just dropped it off and so I am going to pot my new beautiful tree and bring it inside now. So here is my new tree all potted looking great right now this window is huge and it gets like the perfect amount of sunlight right here my other plant that i had here um has like quadrupled in size so i figured i would put the tree in the best likely spot for it to succeed and then i moved the other um one over here so now that plant is there the kids are having snacks while Jake and I worked out. They made slime with some, look at it's good slime, she says. Wow. And this was that activator from Michael's in glue only? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's scented. What does it smell like? Green apples. So we got this activator at Michael's and I was, don't judge my closet, the kids consignment sale for fall is coming soon. Um, oh, this one is confetti. Someone used some confetti? Yeah. yeah. We used a little bit of each. So we got a confetti one and we got scented green apple. It won't focus, but it's Elmer's and they were like $11, but I was hesitant and then we, of course, being homeschoolers, have gigantic gallons of glue, but it looks like it actually did work, it didn't it? Really good. Not really Other good. than like buying a kit, this is way better. And another thing that the kids have been enjoying are these like straw. I would show the other side of the box, but my address is actually on the front of it. Um, but I got these off of Amazon. It's a straw building set. They were like $16 and there's a ton in there. You can make some really huge objects. And so they've been having fun um, building with those and connecting them. Um, so yeah, that's what they did while we were gone. So now they're just hanging out, watching some Total Wipeout and having some snacks. And then we've got to get going to extracurriculars. We've got swim and ballet and soccer. soccer. So, oh, there's the ballerina herself. So cute. Are you gonna get your bag for your shoes? Go get your bag. Have you been enjoying ballet? Yes. Yes, last week was really fun, huh? So she said she wants to try to stick with it for the fall, so I think that'll be fun. So it is now six o'clock, as you guys can see. And let me move into the light. I just got home from ballet class with Olivia and Jake has the other three. Um, he's running, the places are kind of close together, so he's running back and forth. So I'm going to start plating up dinner for everyone. Olivia's gonna hop into the shower. We're gonna have dinner as a family when they get back and then it'll be showers and bedtime because they have VBS again tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and end today's day in the life here so that I can get to bed at a decent hour tonight because I am trying to discipline myself this week with my waking up early because homeschool um, is back in session next week. So the next day in the life you guys see will probably be our school routine again. So um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today during this day in the life. I had a lot of catching up to do after being on vacation and 
Be sure to check out the links to Owl Crate Jr. down in the description box if you wanna add something fun arriving at your doorstep for your kiddo that will encourage reading and creativity. I really, really recommend them. But again, that's just, um, it's, you know, every book, you know, I don't know what the whole year is gonna bring. So I've had people say, oh, we didn't really care for that book. Um, so, you know, do your research check it out but i don't think there's anything to be concerned about that's just my opinion so thank you guys for hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed today's video give me a thumbs up before you go leave me a comment when your homeschool year starts down below and i will see you all in my next video really soon bye guys